I start with myself composing. Save for music, I am unaided, solitary, still probably the common conception of writing. Then in come the works of fiction, which I read, which I draw from, and which have inspired me to write fiction myself. Then come in my typing hands, and finally, the composition and the pages themselves. You'll notice my hands are not in sync with the other composing processes. What you're watching is actually a representation of four different writing sessions. And the reason I put this together was first because I made a mistake in the original edit, but then decided to use the mistake as an integral element of the video. So the same way I might accidentally write something in my fiction, such as he banged at the AC unit instead of on the AC, I will then interrogate that mistake and think about whether it could be a remarkable aspect to include in the fiction. At the top right corner, you'll notice I continually grab at those books. I will take them, I will read parts of them, for rhythm, for cadence, for a particular interaction and dialogue, to work out a particular plot line. And I will do this to get a sense of a mood I am perhaps trying to draw from, to create myself, to evolve. And so in this way, the books I have always read continue to help me write new fiction. My body you'll continue to notice is still out of sync with my hands. Both are out of sync with the page as it is being composed. The processes to me are separate, in space, in time, but all finally converge at the level of production on the page. In the bottom left, you see now I've opened up a new screen. And what I am writing here is a passage I am copying out of a book. I do this sometimes when I get stuck, or when I want to understand the particular feel of constructing sentences, and I want to try to imagine what the writer was considering, the decisions she was making when she was composing. I leave, but the composing process continues in a variety of forms, without me necessarily having to be at the computer screen.